Hello, welcome to GV 519 Measurement and Decision Making, where we will be reviewing your case assignment. The case assignment is divided into three parts. In Unit 3, you will be submitting Part 1, which is the initial formatting and outline. In Unit 4, you will submit Part 2, which is your paper analysis of a manufacturing organization. And lastly, in Unit 5, you will submit Part 3, which is a PowerPoint presentation based off of your paper. The important note to keep in mind is to review all materials. Additionally, be sure to review the rubrics and all of the materials before you start. That would give you a bit more information and then you'll have clarity on what to do for all three milestones. And as always, if you have any questions, do reach out to me and let me know. So now let's get started in diving deeper into our assignment. The best way to start the case assignment is to navigate to our Google Sites and then navigate to the case assignment page. Here you will find all three of the milestones and all of the documents that you need. So the first order of business is to actually take a look at these manufacturing companies. You're basically going to select one of these companies to conduct your analysis on. So once you've decided on the company, then you can get started. And then you have here the APA template as well that is provided in our class, and I've also included it here for you. And this template will be the basis for your first part, which is your formatting and your initial outline. So what you are doing is you're taking each part of the case and basically providing an analysis of that manufacturing organization that you selected in the first step. So the best way to complete the case is to take a look at the case study for part one, for example, and then also to come down here to the rubric and then take a look at that as well. Those two documents will help you. So you are actually going to download the 10K for the company and then you're going to go here into the actual first part and just start working on your title page and it gives you all of the information here what you should note for example those page lengths and the template and don't include a table of contents and make sure that you're looking at the assignment but the key is going to be in the rubric so this is what i will use to grade your cases so in this case you want to make sure that you have a running heading that includes the you know, properly formatted APA 7th. You wanna make sure you have your page numbers and all of the three requirements. But then in criteria two is where you're going to start looking to see how you're gonna analyze the case. So as you go through here, this one, this particular part is more formatting. But then when you go back to the second part here and go to the second rubric or the second part of the rubric, this will help you to determine what you're going to write about in your paper. So for example, when you're looking at the 10K of that manufacturing organization, you're going to look for any significant costs. So you're going to maybe note those major costs, those environmental concerns, any type of cost behavior, fixed or variable. If you can identify any prevention, appraisal or detection costs, Sometimes that is given to you in the management discussion and analysis. Other times it's the, the notes to the shareholders within the financial statements or the letter to the shareholder. So the 10K is a voluminous document and it's just chock full of information. Then you're going to identify internal and external failure costs. So depending on what the manufacturing organization does, obviously, if we're talking about automobiles, right, the failure costs are significant for recalls and things of that nature. So this, I think you need to review all three rubrics and then make sure you're covering these aspects in for your first submission, right? When you're talking about budgeting and the balance scorecard as B. As C here, you want to make sure you're using the four categories in the balance scorecard and that you're including those and that you're formatting. So the key is going to be to select an organization, download the 10K report from SEC Edgar, and then start putting these titles in for your 
original, like for your first milestone. Because then once you have all of these titles in there and you're looking at all of these rubrics, then you'll be able to compile your paper. So we're basically looking here, not only for budgeting and the balance scorecard, we're looking at corporate sustainability, responsibility, and decision-making, right? So we're looking at uh, corporate responsibility and there are usually triple bottom line reports and there's a whole separate section within most of these organizations in press releases and in different parts of the website that give you this information as well. And then you're gonna look at any type of sustainability and responsibility that they have. Again, you're looking at it from the point of cost, volume, profit analysis, the balance scorecard and corporate sustainability. So my recommendation is to visit our Google sites and then get all of the three rubrics get all of the three cases read those carefully and then for your first milestone you're just going to start building based on what is required such as the cost the balance scorecard the corporate responsibility and then as you're reading the 10k then you'll be able to fill in those gaps and actually work on the paper so i hope that helps you get started and we will cover of course more of this in our seminar thanks